So as an outsider, as a non-American, I've been uh, trying to keep up with the midterm election results. And from what I can gather of the discourse I see online, there was supposed to be a red wave where the Republicans basically took complete control of the House of Representatives and the Senate. But that didn't happen. The Republicans underperformed relative to what the polls said. They're still likely to take the House of Representatives. They may still take the Senate, but it's looking likely that it could also be another tie where the vice president would be the tiebreaker. But regardless, the Democrats are very, very likely losing at least the House of Representatives. And this is seen as a victory by by Democrats online. That's what I gather, at least. The victory is that the Republicans didn't win more, which I think is fair. Uh, That is, if they underperformed relative to polls, I think that that does say something. But what's so amazing in the worst possible sense of the word is that the Republican Party is now basically both a deeply, deeply, openly fascist party and an incredibly silly, unserious party. Now, I'm not saying they're not dangerous. They're super dangerous. That's the thing. They're dangerous to women, as we've seen with the horrible stories after the overturning of Roe v. Wade. So they're dangerous to women, to trans people, to gay people, to people of color. But they're such an unserious party in the sense that a big focus of their political agenda, a big focus of their ideology is on adjacent culture war issues that aren't really political issues, not directly political at least. Like, for example, it's a party that is deeply, deeply concerned with the gender of potato head. It is a party that is deeply, deeply concerned with the clothing of Minnie Mouse. This is a party that while you have people who are homeless, people are losing their homes, people who can't afford medicine, you have people who can't afford their fucking insulin, who are dying because they're rationing their insulin. And then you have a party that is talking about trans people, like 0.05% of the population, fear-mongering about them, saying how horrible they are, laying the groundwork for genociding them, essentially. A party that is complaining about how fuckable cartoons are, how feminine cartoons are, what title or what gender a potato has. This is a party that is deeply concerned with the gender of a potato a fucking potato. And the crazy thing is, even though you have so many real issues facing Americans, you know, who don't have $500 in savings, can't go to the doctor without going bankrupt, can't afford their medicine, and you have so many people voting for this party that is deeply concerned with the gender of a fucking potato. Like, it's, it's so unserious yet also so fucking dangerous and harmful to minorities that I I can't wrap my head around it. So yes, the Republicans underperformed relative to the polls, but they are overperforming what they should. A party that is focused on how horrible it is that, you know, you have someone with a penis who is wearing a dress and not even someone with a penis necessarily, but like a, a cartoon a party that is deeply concerned with whether or not a cartoon, some color on a paper, is portrayed with appropriate attire, according to them. Like, what the hell is that? Who the hell votes for a party like that? I get that the Democrats are not exactly the most inspiring party in the world. In fact, they're a pretty awful party. But compared to the Republicans, I I don't really have any words for it. It's it's so incredibly stupid that I, I, yeah, there are no words. The Republican Party is such a deeply unserious party that serves only far-right white nationalist neo-fascists and talks about pointless things like the gender of a potato. 
Like, what the hell, as an elected representative, are you going to do? What are you going to do as an elected representative about the gender of potato head? Are you going to legislate that potatoes must have the appropriate gender? How, you, how, how do you even determine that? How do you enforce that? Like, what? What is that? You have people dying because they can't afford their fucking medicine. And then you have a Republican Party that fearmongers about trans people and is very, very concerned with the direction of Potato Head. And then you have millions of people voting for them. Fucking amazing. That, that's just it's spectacular in the worst sense of the word to watch as an outsider. To see how much of American politics is decided not by serious uh, consideration of the issues and the solutions, but instead decided by reactionary nonsense about a very specific demographic of human beings that they want to get rid of and fucking potatoes. I will never understand America.